Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage and this is one of my horses. This is my baby potato, his name is PJ and he is a full brother to my other horse, Roman. Potato original, the OG potato. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys how I am going to prepare for our farrier visit tomorrow. It's not our first farrier visit for this guy, it's our third. But um, I need to take him to the uh, farrier shed and get him re-familiarized with that space and just work with him a little bit. Um, he's only a year old, so you know his workload is a lot different than you know your average riding horse. But um, it's important that you don't wait until it's time to load your horse to travel until you work on that kind of thing. It's important not to wait until the farrier arrives before you work on that kind of thing. It's important to expose your horse to the everyday or the uh, events that might happen in the future without having the pressure of the event be on that day. So I would just want to make sure that um, little PJ here is going to be a good boy for the farrier tomorrow and has a really good experience. So I'll walk you through everything that we do for that. So the first thing I'm doing here is just working PJ around the round pin, practicing some voice commands, practicing getting him to move away from my pressure, and just, you know, kind of asserting myself again today as the authority figure here. Let's hope this camera doesn't fall. Well, that went well. It's important to never do anything for too long or drill anything, especially with young horses, but we do need to get the horse's feet moving and work on getting the horse to respond correctly to pressure and work on desensitizing, work on sensitizing, all that kind of stuff so that we can go to the next phase of whatever the day happens to bring. So now that I've worked a lot on sensitizing and um, I've gotten PJ's feet moving, now I'm going to work on desensitizing. I'm going to work on, you know, just grooming him and picking up his feet and then I'm going to go to the farrier shed where he will need to stand quietly tomorrow.
right. Let's go ahead and head over to the farrier shed. So this is our farrier shed. And as you can see, he's, you know, alert and looking. Because it looks weird and there's some junk on one side. This is not our typical workspace, obviously. We work in the round pen and, you know, around the farm, different places. So, um, it's going to be a good idea for me to incorporate this space into a place where we visit sometimes. And, obviously, I'm going to have to move that ladder for tomorrow because that would be terrible if that fell down while <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, get him to be a good boy in the farrier shed. This is nice open space, but it is different, looks different. So he's got to get used to it. And it's better for him to get used to things now when the farrier's not here. There's another horse over here, some distracting stuff. Okay, so we're in the farrier shed now, and I am just going to try to um, stand here and try and relax, and I will correct him if need be, but I want to expose him to this space, like I said, before the actual day of the event, so that this becomes, this area just becomes kind of a, a space that we visit sometimes, and it's just part of our normal routine, and it's not a big deal. I want PJ to have a successful farrier visit. Like I said, this is his third visit, but um, you know, he's still very impressionable and doing something three times doesn't exactly make you an expert. So we still have to work on it and you know, all kinds of baby stuff like that. Um, it's so important that your horse stand still for the farrier. The farrier and the vet, that's important business. And if your horse is acting a fool <laughs> um, during that important business, um, you might have, you know, someone might get hurt and you might have limitations in the future. I know of other horses that just can't be shod in the back end because their owners um, uh, don't know how to ask them to be good horses. Um, so we have to teach the horse when they're young that this is part of their job. Standing still for the farrier, um, not moving, being obedient, knowing how to respond to pressure, how to find relaxation, how to understand what we want. So I know PJ really likes when I scratch his tail, so I'm trying to include some of that into our feel-good session here. He is distracted because of the other horse over there, but he's being a good boy and standing still. I should have mentioned that I have the uh, Clinton Anderson rope halter on. That's a very, very, very important training tool when you are doing some serious groundwork. Um, it's one of the only training tools that I really insist on you having if you're going to do groundwork. It's so important. I can see that he's starting to relax because of his body language. His eyes aren't so big. His body doesn't seem so big. I like that he's curious. Once I feel like he's really relaxed, then I'll probably leave this space and maybe just go let him have some grass and then probably be done. Then I'll do it all over again tomorrow when the farrier is actually here. And then I think we'll have a more successful visit.
So now that I feel like PJ is really relaxed, very curious, I feel like we have spent enough time here now getting him exposed to all the different sounds that this space makes. You know, there's a metal roof on the uh, shed here, so it makes a different sound. Uh, it's not like being in the barn, and it's certainly not like being in the round pen where our normal um, workspace is. It's different, and different is okay. Isn't that right? Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to follow along more with my training journey with this little baby potato, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This is my second um, young horse of this breeding. He's a Hanoverian. Um, again, I own his full brother who's 10. And I did all this stuff with him too. And I've also trained many, many, many other young horses from babies through the levels. It's one of my favorite things. I like watching the journey. I hope you do too. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>